Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me, the place on the internet where we test all the masks in the world. Today I am very excited. Another submission from John, John Doe, probably not your real name, the BYD N95. That's right, BYD got their N95. Huge factory in China, like just enormous uh, operation. They can do, I think, 50 million surgical masks a day that's crazy they're a car manufacturer electronic car manufacturer and they decided when the pandemic hit we're not going to do that we're going to figure out how to do masks probably one of the most advanced mass factories in the world they make everything right there in the same facility the polypropyl from raw polypropylene all the way to the mask and they're really good engineers they, they invented this stuff from the ground up and they and they, they make a pretty good product to be honest from what i've seen um, early on, there was a lot. Of, they, they were in Costco, and they were doing Costco's brand. And honestly, like, there was like you know fits and starts. Like some of them were not meeting standards. But lately, I've seen everything I've seen. I've been pretty impressed with. But this is the N95, man. This is NIOSH. This is the NIOSH gold standard. I'm gonna read this letter I got from John. Interesting perspective, Mr. Doe. Let's go. To Lloyd Armbrust, can you test the face mask? and N95 particulate respirator from China. Okay, so he's, he sent uh, these face masks um, and then these N N95s. Um, I'm not familiar with this face mask. We're gonna have to test the, uh, the surgical masks in, a, in another video because it takes about um, three hours to change the machine over to do the different types of tests. So this is, this is set up for N95 right now, so I'll have to do that in another video. Um, so he's talking about uh, your surgical mask is a lot better for source control, he feels. Um, that's the whole point of wearing a face mask. Very true. P.S. Our health, I just want to read this part of you. P.S. Our healthcare facility has over a thousand employees and they buy the cheapest face mask ever. Please test and destroy the face mask on camera, please, from John Till. I can't wait to do that. Here you go. Uh, in that video, as soon as I get this machine changed over. In the meantime, I'm excited to check out this BYD mask. Because BYD, like I said, has been making some pretty good masks. So look at this, they're individually packaged. N95, now they're doing the, the KN95 design or style, but they're putting a head strap on it and they're, they're choosing to use uh, staples, which I actually haven't seen on a KN95 style. Oop, or we would call this a fold style. So, okay, very interesting. Like that. All right, let's put it in the clamper. Let's see what happens here. Again, this setup is different than the one that NIOSH would use to test masks. We actually test them in the same way that NIOSH does. But for this purpose, uh, which is just, you know, me testing stuff quickly, this is a lot faster. So, uh, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this works, check out that link. BYD, let's come at you. I gotta be honest, Chinese, of all the Chinese masks, I like the BYD company the most. I just, you know, I, I, I think they were really trying to do something good for the world uh, and not just trying to make a quick buck. It's just my feeling I could be wrong. All right, so N95 is gonna have the TC number. It's gonna say NIOSH, N95, and they're actually printing the lot number on every single mask. That's crazy. How are they doing that? Looks like actual ink. They got BYD embossed on there. I don't love the KN95 style personally. It's just my, my style. Let's check out the ear loops or the head straps. Woo! <laughs> I'm really pulling on that thing, man. Boy. You could like, you could put a weight in there for sure. That is not coming off. It's got that classic Chinese plastic smell. So I don't know what that is. I got to figure that out someday. Airflow resistance, by the way, is about 180 Pascals, which I've seen a lot better on this type of mask, but it's still within standard. Pretty good construction, a little tighter than I personally want it to be. It's got that duck situation there, you know, like those ducks that you'd shoot at the state fair or something. Um, but fairly comfortable. I've had softer, uh, spun bond before but like 
I like the color they're using. It kind of sets them apart. So it's not horrible. Definitely a more affordable solution. I'm sure that this is like one of the cheaper things that you can do. But, you know, does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's check it out. Oh, shit. I did not expect that. Not from BYD. Okay, 80... 3.51%, 83.51%. That, that is not good. That's not good. That's not good. So NIOSH, just so you know, they're like, a, the reason why you can really trust N95 is because if NIOSH randomly will buy masks and test them, and if this were to happen, if they were to find this, they would pull the label. If I was NIOSH and this was the national uh, you know, testing lab, they would be pulling this brand right now. Um, ooh, uh, there's a lot of factors here. Like this box was already opened. They are individually sealed and they are actually sealed. So I had to actually open this bag. I don't know. I'm actually surprised to see an N95 do so poorly. In fact, this is the worst N95 I've ever tested. So I'm not really sure, uh, John, what's going on with these. Uh, but this is not a good result. This is not a good result. In fact, it's so bad that uh, I'm gonna do, as I have done a couple times, I'm going to do a test again. So I'm gonna test a different one and just see if there was something wrong with this. Now we're using uh, NaCl, which is a sodium chloride salt solution here. Uh, it comes out to about 0.3 microns. Um, That's good, 98%. What was the other one, 83? So that could have been a fluke. You know, what, what they will do uh, when, they, when, when they test for, uh, for standards, they'll test like 20 of these masks. And then you, you list all of those tests um, and you're allowed to be below some of them. So this is great, look at this. This one is 99%, much better. Still a little worrisome because it's not like this was just sitting in the box. I opened a sealed pack here and found it. I'm still going to give them, when we do the official count, it's going to be this uh, 99%. Um, but yeah, this it's holding this. And actually the airflow resistance was a lot higher before too, wasn't it? That's interesting. So there you go, 99.1. And look, it, it did pretty well throughout the entire test. 99.181. Um, breathability is pretty good. This gives me pause though for the first time about the BYD brand because I found at the beginning when they were getting things up, their surgical masks were variable. Um, it, it wasn't always consistent. And the fact that this has happened with their N95 makes me worry. Now I'm going to give them that 99% number uh, on our official results uh, that we post. But, um, but yeah, that doesn't make me feel good that I had to do a test a second time uh, to do it. But again, N95, that NIOSH is so crazy about stuff, it is very rare that you would find an N95 that doesn't meet standards. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Mr. John Doe, for sending this. I appreciate you. Um, and uh, if you guys like this video, give me a like or subscribe, or even better, follow John Doe and send me some masks. I'll put the, uh, the address down below this video. All right, thank you guys so much, and I will catch you on the next time.